All right, guys, so we're here to do the wrestling update. I have not done a video in a really long time, um, and I apologize. I've just been really crazy busy, and other stuff is happening in my own life, and yeah. So, uh, so let's get into some interesting news. Um, Rey Mysterio's contract is officially up at the end of September. My theory and everybody else's theory is that the man will be going to AEW. I am perfectly okay with that because he should be able to reinvent his career again. The man has had so many great matches in his career. WWE has not idolized his talent the correct way since he signed with them, in my opinion. So he is officially going to be probably going somewhere else. Um, Matt Hardy uh, has been doing a spectacular job. Um, in AEW since he signed with them. I'm very proud of him. He's reinvented his career. He's done a great job there. Uh, he can finally be himself. WWE kind of dropped the ball on him. Um, Jake Hager, also former WWE superstar, having lots of success in AEW. Uh, Chris Jericho's absolutely tearing it up in AEW. Proud of him for that. Ambrose is too. A lot of former talent. That WWE said that they had no future in the company, went to AEW, and they are really tearing it up. I don't know what WWE is doing, but whatever. So, WWE, by the way, after their little decision to release half of their talent and executives and producers, their shows have been absolutely horrendous. Raw has gotten some of the worst ratings over the last five and a half months. Just to point out that right there. So, you get rid of executive producers. So, yeah. And some of those people actually already have jobs other places. So, you know what? WWE, you dropped the ball on that. Um... Officially, Undertaker retired last week. I want to congratulate him on a spectacular career. He is a legend. He deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. I'm not quite understanding what WWE is thinking. He should have already been in the Hall of Fame, along with Batista and Rey Mysterio and Rob Van Dam and half of the people who you decided to fire. Anyways, I'm going to be nice about it. I don't agree with it. WWE officially purchases Evolve Wrestling, so they will have their library updated to their network. Um, and uh, obviously some of the talent that is in AEW will probably be suing them at some point in time because their matches from Evolve will be on their network. So I would imagine there will be several lawsuits down the road, like the Young Bucks and a few other talents. Anyways... WWE, as far as releasing talent, some things I kind of agree with lately, other things I don't. I don't think it's a smart idea to, to sign Tessa Blanchard, if you want my honest opinion. She has a lot of drama from Impact and in her personal life, and I don't think that's a good decision for you to be signing her. Um, it's just how I feel. Um, as far as NXT goes, NXT, uh, with their, basically their ratings so far, have, the last few weeks have been pretty decent. Um, matches have been really good. Keith Lee's been doing a great job. Um, Adam Cole, um, the women's division has been doing a great job as well. Um, and then having Charlotte... You know, losing the championship to Io Shirai, not that bad of an idea because she's going to be leaving anyways to have corrective surgery, which I don't understand what any of that is, but whatever. Supposedly she's supposed to, she's, she's supposed to be back blah, by August, supposedly, by SummerSlam. So we'll have to find out what's happening with that, with that situation. Um... Sasha Banks um, had an amazing match at Great American 
Bash uh, for NXT. Um, Bailey's been tearing it up actually for the women's division. I'm kind of proud of that. She's been doing a good job, considering a lot of losses with the women's division as far as injuries and women getting pregnant and having to take time off. Um, anyways. I don't understand the whole situation with Paige right now. Supposedly there's another scandal with her getting her phone stolen or pictures updated or something's happening again. I don't get it. I just wish that her the, her the luck in the future and I hope that you know she'll eventually have some type of a role in wrestling that will fit her. Um, I've always respected her. I think she's a talented wrestler. Um, with that, we'll, we'll switch over to Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling has fired three top stars so far. Michael Elgin. Tessa Blanchard. And I can't remember who the other person is off the top of my head, but... All I'm going to say is Impact, please do the right thing. Please do the right thing for your fans and for your pay-per-view coming up at Slammiversary. I want to suggest three people who I suggest hiring to help your company. First person is EC3, who should have never left Impact, who helped build your company for several years. Hire the man. Bring him in to Slammiversary, for the love of God. Do something. Eric Young. Gallows and Anderson. There you go. Hire all of them. They deserve a job. Even Leo Rush deserves a job. Hire him. Do something. <laughs> because so far, the stuff that I've watched, you're still promoting this main event. But... Tessa Blanchard isn't even with the company. Oh, yeah, vey, 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 ay, vey. So, with that, Sarah Logan is officially pregnant. She announced it on her video, uh, I think it was a few days ago. So, her husband and her are having their first child. Congratulate them on that. Um... I'm also hearing a rumor that Rusev might be signing with AEW. I don't know how true that is, but I'm okay with it if he decides to go there because they do well with the other talent. So, so we'll bring up the horror show Extreme Rules pay-per-view, WWE. Oh boy. So far, the match card, I'll give them a B plus. The only thing that I'm remotely interested in seeing is the Strowman and, and Eater of Worlds Spray Wyatt match. That is that is literally the only match on the card that I am remotely interested in. Beyond that, probably Snorefest. Not, not really interested at all, honestly. Until SummerSlam comes around and they actually start bringing back people who I care about, then I'll probably actually give WWE its props as far as, as entertainment. Uh, last week's Raw was absolutely horrible. It was literally the worst show that I've ever watched, probably in a year. Um, I fell asleep during it. That's how boring it was. SmackDown was a little bit better. I actually didn't fall asleep during that. But Raw was absolutely horrible and pointless. The storylines go nowhere. They make no sense. Bruce Pritchard, what are you doing? That's why Paul Heyman should have never been relieved of his duties as creative. Anyways, whatever. Um... AEW pay-per-views, though, the last two, have been absolutely freaking awesome. The matches have been amazing. I love the tag matches. I love the fact that Moxley is finally getting the opportunities he was getting now that he was not receiving in WWE. 
Now, some people say, oh, Mox should go back to WWE. It's like, no. He deserves that life that he has in AEW right now. They work around his schedule. He doesn't have to work constantly. Plus, with Renee having a baby, he has to be at home at some point in time. So, and I want to congratulate them on that, too. Because I like both of them. They're good people. Um, let me think here. I want to say that, in my honest opinion, Dynamite and AEW Dark have been the better shows over the last three and a half months, in my honest opinion. I mean, bringing in Brian Cage, possibly Rey Mysterio, the ro AEW roster is just amazing. They have so much international talent and, and homegrown talent. I mean, I gotta be honest, like, I'll probably be watching more AEW than I will WWE at this point. I mean, even even Impact Wrestling has been having better matches of late. So, and I want to give props to Impact Wrestling, considering you lost a lot of talent, and you're still putting on decent shows. Madison Rain on commentary, I love it, with Josh, Matthew, Josh Mat Matthews. It actually works. Sorry. <clears throat> ah, clear my throat. Ugh, okay. What do I honestly think about WWE programming from 1 to 10 right now? Five. Impact, six. AEW, nine. AEW has the better shows so far, and the pay-per-views, than either one of the other two shows. And I, and I know that that's saying a lot, but honestly, that's just how I feel. Because AEW gets it. They understand what the fans want to see. They don't want to see these drawn-out storylines that make no sense whatsoever, WWE, pointing my finger at you. The commentary for AEW has been so amazing and so diverse. And plus, bringing in Taz absolutely works. It works so well, well, honestly. Commentary for WWE, boring. Oh my god, so boring. Especially on SmackDown. Absolutely horrible, horribly boring. And with this Jeff Hardy storyline with Sheamus, this is just... Nah, I don't. I don't really care for it. I think that they're disrespecting Jeff and 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 his past problems, and I just I don't I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Not not as a Jeff Hardy fan, not as a Matt fan. It's disrespectful to the Hardys. I don't like it. Scrap it, please. Do something. Like no, it it just doesn't work for Jeff. It's just a bad storyline. Like I just don't get it. Jeff is so more talented than half of those people on SmackDown. And then, okay, drink, bring back John, John Morrison, I'm okay with. But this nonsense with him and The Miz, bringing back the dirt sheet and all this stuff, some of it's entertaining, but some of it's also incredibly boring. Like, we need more diversity on SmackDown at this point. Like, you, you, you have to have a tag division. You have no tag division on SmackDown. Or on Raw right now. It's just horribly pathetic. It's bad. It's just horribly bad. I mean, the tag division in AW, freaking awesome. Impact Wrestling, freaking awesome. Like, I just don't get it. I, I just don't get WWE right now. I don't get it one bit. I mean, some things are okay with me, and other things are just like, wow, this makes no sense. With that, that is your wrestling update. Um, hopefully, we'll eventually get a Hall of Fame from WWE. We're, they promised us like at WrestleMania that didn't happen. They're talking about August SummerSlam. Maybe we don't even know what's going to happen yet. I just want to tell everybody, you know, I have been watching my wrestling. It's just some of it's just so boring. I can't tolerate it anymore. But. I love everybody. The reason why I talk wrestling is because I like it. I've always liked it. I've enjoyed it. Let's start voting on WWE and emailing them and say, please fix your programming. This is just really bad. Please fix it. Push Ricochet. Cedric, Cedric Alexander. AJ Styles. 
any of the younger talent. Please stop putting Big Show on Monday Night Raw. It's so incredibly boring. And fix Seth Rollins, please. I'm going to go now.